Hi, I'm Charlie from the Active Wellbeing Society and I'm here with some quick videos to help you in the moment with some mental health and wellbeing techniques. In today's video, we're looking at grounding. Grounding is a technique used to help bring you into the moment. This can be really helpful when we're really anxious, worried, scared, panicking, or dealing with depersonalization or dissociation. It's based in taking our focus away from the rushing, ruminating thoughts that might be based in the what ifs, perhaps in distressing past events, or if we've drifted away from feelings altogether for a while and bringing us back to the here and now by focusing on tangible things in our direct physical realm. There's lots of different kinds of grounding techniques out there, so be playful with this. Try a few and see what works for you. The example I'm going to give you is quite a powerful one and can work no matter where you are. And once you've got the hang of it, you can do it really subtly so that you can do it no matter whether you're on the bus, at work, in a supermarket or anywhere really, and you don't need any special tools or equipment. This is called the 54321 method. You might have heard this done a few different ways in different places, but we're going to do this based on the senses and one little bonus thing. First thing, name five things that you can touch from where you are right now. Reach out and touch them. Focus on the tiny little details. Are they rough, smooth, hard, soft, hot, cold? Think about the tiny little things about them. Second thing, name four things that you can see. Look at the tiny little details again. Rather than going, I can see a tree, look at the leaves or the needles on that tree. Focus on the bark. Name those four things that you can see from where you are right now. Thirdly, name three things that you can hear. It can be kind of difficult if you're somewhere that's particularly quiet or somewhere that's particularly loud, but focus on individual sounds that you can hear right now. Is it kids playing in the distance, the wind? Uh, maybe it's just something like a kettle boiling in the house. Something that is a particular sound that you can pick out right now. For the last one, we bundled two together. So name two things that you can smell or taste. It can be one of either, two of both, whatever you want. And lastly, state one positive statement about yourself. It can be as small or as big and bold as you want. It can be as simple as I make a great cup of tea or as big as I'm awesome at my job. Whatever it feels good for you to say right now. Put a ping in it, put it out there in the world for all to hear, even if that's only you. It's worth saying again that this technique won't be for everyone. After all, sometimes it's our very senses that are the things that are being overwhelmed. And for some of us with disabilities or different ways of experiencing the world, all these senses may not be relevant to us. It's okay if this isn't the one for you. There's lots of different examples out there and you might even come up with one of your own. Have a play with things that take you back into the moment, safe practices that bring you down from those moments of anxiety or disconnection and find something that feels right for you. Check out our channel for more health and wellbeing content. Subscribe for notifications of when we upload new videos and click the website link in the description below for all of our free community activities in Birmingham and beyond.